Hey, what's up guys? Scope here. We're back with more Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum. In the last episode, we took on the first five trainers in the Mount Battle. I guess that's not really the Mount Battle Challenge. It's more like the Cypher Takeover of Mount Battle, you know, so. We are halfway to Dekim, if he is indeed at Area Leader Vander's spot. We are making more, I kind of like it here too, how the background, the mountain, it's not just the same background. You kind of like make your way up the mountain, you move along with it. It's kind of cool. So anyway, Pokemon, I'm going to take... Uh, yeah, let's switch Espeon in for a little bit, along with Noctowl, because he's getting there. He's almost there to his purification spot. And let's fight this performer chick, who just hit me with her cane. Hello, hello, hello! If you want to get by me, you have to watch my performance. Okay, let the show begin. If, I, if all I really had to do was watch you perform, I would totally be okay with that norts. <laughs> like snorts? What well, do you be snorting? Alright, Cacnea and a Spinda. You would have a Spinda. Just because that's what you do. You spin and stuff. You spin? Duh! Huh. It's like people always used to make fun of this girl Amanda at my summer camp because her name was Amanda and they had always. They, they came up with a, this thing, they'd call her a man. Duh! She's a man. Duh! <laughs> it's like, God, little kids are so mean. Alright, so Noctowl learns his second uh, move, minus Shadow Rush, which is Reflect. That's pretty cool. So you could set that up if you want. It would do you good. Probably not a too bad of an option here, but... Whatever, I just want to kill these guys. You know, just plain out obliterate them. Exodia! Obliterate! I want to get rid of Spinda because... Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Two more... Whoa, excuse me, Hiccup. Two more of those, and Noctowl should be good to go. Spinda likes to confuse your party, though. That's why I like to get rid of that guy first. Teeter Dance. I think that confuses me, too. Yep. Show enough, Oz. Show enough. Oh my god, both characters? That's a little bit of overkill, don't you think? Ah, uh, whatever. That's alright, because I'm just going to call them off telling you. I think calling them brings them out of confusion. Let's find out, actually. Espeon! Ah, oh, didn't work. It'll work for Noctowl, though. Brrr, oh, I guess three more. Sidebeam is what you're going to use. Okay, I swear I'm going to stop singing to that. It's so annoying. You can't even hear it when I do it. I don't know why. Needle dick. Needle dick. Uh... Okay. All right, so Noctowl, continue shadow rushing your face. And I will continue trying to kill. Oh, uh, yeah, it didn't work. Ah, uh, isn't that funny? I was confused and I broke out of my confusion to use confusion, which might confuse Spinda, but it's actually not really going to because he has that thing that stops him from being confused. Noctowl! Noctowl! Come on, really? Really? Really, dude? Like, really, man? Okay, what's... Spinda, what do you have against Noctowl? What did he ever do to you, man? You just got a personal vendetta against this guy. Oh, these guys are pissing me off. Ah! This is also the first battle here, I guess, where the person's not completely obliterated by either a water or grass type. Confusion. Ha! Huh. Bam! You like that, Cacnea? Does that feel good, huh, Needle Dick? Does it? Knocked out, please use your attack. Oh my god, I just wanted to kill Smith, though. That's all I wanted to do, and now he's going to do damage to you. Okay with that there, Noctowly boy? You alright with that? Does that make you feel good about yourself? What are you doing there? What are you doing? Dude! Man, we are both gonna die here if we're not careful. Alright, I guess I can't trust you to kill Spinda, can I? Yeah, Espeon snapped out of it. See? See? Learn from that, Noctowl. Learn from that. Boom. And you're dead. Why don't you go spin in hell? <laughs> Alright, what do you got next? Hodobro! Hodobro! With his spoon, he's about to eat some Cheerios or something, man. Thank you, Noctowl! What do you know? Ouch! Nicely done, nicely done. Burp, burp. Needle dick goes down. About time. Hadabara is going to go down to my country. He's 
not really, it's not very effective, but it might confuse him, I hope it. Yes, it does! Ha 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 Hey yourself, hey yourself, hey yourself! Ah, future side, that's fine. Because I'll, I'll kill you before that even has a chance to come into play. There we go! Knocked out. How long are you going to be confused for, by the way, dude? Doesn't matter. I'll call ya, and Espeon will... You know what? Should I use Return? Would that do more damage than Confusion? Probably. Knocked out! There we go. Now if I send him out in battle and do one more Hyper Mode, he's good. He's ready to go. See how quickly this goes if you know what you're doing, man? Oh, yeah. Now hit yourself a Confusion to finish yourself off. That would be great. Just do it. Do it! Ah, you're using that again? Jeez, man. He's just not giving up. And Noctowl has learned his uh, third move, Fly. Really, 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 really useful move. So keep that in mind. I guess we'll just try to hyper mode ourselves real quick. Oh, Espeon goes first. Fine, fine. And Hadabara is down. And he throws the spoon. He's like, fuck it, man. Fuck it. And Espeon is so close to 34. So close. He can taste it. Performance is ruined. Oh, oh, somebody called the Wambulance. Whatever. Norts. Snorts. You're crazy. Nobody would pay to see my show. You're damn right. I know I wouldn't. Okay, so moving on to battle number seven. I do want to heal here. I at least want to heal Knocked Owl. Espeon, if she dies, that's okay. Because I want to heal after this battle anyway, like at the Pokemon Center. So, What's up, dude? Still no peons. All six were defeated? Sheesh, what were those incompetents doing? This is where the buck stops. Uh, I don't think so, bro. Because I think they put you guys here last. You, if they were smart, they put the toughest people first. That way, you know. I don't know. Well, maybe not. I guess it could go either way. Alright, now we're back to the ground, numbnuts. Cool. I guess that's nice. Not really for Noctowl. That kind of sucks for him. But he's almost there. We might be able to get him finished here before too long. So let's just use some stuff and try to get him out of here before too much goes wrong. Confusion. Ah, I always like to go after Grabblers first if they're ever into the picture. Because those guys like to use self-destruct. And I don't like when people try to use self-destruct. Because that just ruins my day. It really does. Shadow Paunch. Ah. Bah. <laughs> Knocked out. Alright, why don't you use Shadow Rush on Graveler and I'll use uh, Confusion on him. Because Sand Slash is a noob that's in the ground. He's diggy diggy holing. <laughs> Sounds like one ginormous fart. And Espeon grew to 34. Cool. I love how our team's staying all nice and even here. That makes me happy. Oh, it's Vibrava, Trapinch's evolved form, and Flygon's pre-evolved form. Ow, man, that was vicious. He came up swinging, did you see that? Jeez. Alright, uh, I would like to throw Chicken Jane here, but once again, he's pretty much utterly useless. Or, uh, yeah. Can't really do shit against these guys. So I guess Umbrionis it is. Noctowl, how about you do one more hyper mode for me, buddy, and then I would be very happy. Very, very happy. That would make me a happy camper. Right, so, Noctowl, you keep going for that. Umbreon, I guess we can bite on Vibrava. Let's just go on an all-out offensive against Vibrava. Because he's got Rock Tomb. And he likes to use it on Noctowl like a dickhead. Now, go into hyper mode. Doesn't that piss you off, Noctowl? Go into hyper mode. Do it. You know you're mad. You know you want to do it. Hey, <laughs> stupid little freaking wasp or whatever you are. Don't use that on Noctowl, just don't. Oh, you guys are assholes. You guys are assholes. Have I made that clear? Assholes. Assholes. All oh, both of you. You're both dicks. Both of you. And you know what they say, you are what you eat. Therefore, fill in the blank. Freaking for Bravo. Okay, yes, we get it. Jeez, what, what was up with that? All right, now it's now it's no mercy. You guys are going down. I mean, Shadow him on top doesn't play. Does not play. Look at that. Doesn't play. No mercy from Shadow him on top is what you will get. 
Bite me! Uh, sand slash. You're an asshole, sand slash. I love how he just like doesn't even try to dig to go into the hole. He just kind of teleports under it. All right, now none of our moves are gonna hit because he's underground and he's slow as balls. So we go before him. What a poopy face. Yeah, use your dig. That's fine. Now you're gonna heed my warning. One thing I've noticed, him on top does not go into hyper mode, man. It just doesn't happen. But he is about to learn his first move in a second here. Which would be awesome if it was triple kick, but of course that's not going to be it. That's going to be the last one he learns because they... Okay, let's do this again. Diggy diggy hole. Alright, now you're going to pay. Right, right, we know this. Shadow Rush Bite. There we go! Man, too little too late. And eat that. Winning! Duh. Oh, we're only at 11 minutes. I thought we'd be worse off than that. Oh, man. We are doing good, people. Hunter Weeg. <laughs> you put an end to me, man. I know. Now I'm going to push you off this little slope here. That's one thing that got me going, too. Is like That's one thing I first... I first thought about it, it was like why why do they make this this is a bad idea for a giant battle place like Pokemon battles can get pretty intense and you know use one good attack it could knock a trainer off balance right and what if like they fall off dude they're dead you're falling into the mountainy pits below you think a lawsuit would have come up after and if you see the later areas where it's not just mountain below you it's other stuff that you will die from so like whoa and these aren't the biggest of platforms. I mean, they look bigger when you get into battle, but even then, it's like... I don't know, it still doesn't seem very safe. Maybe you should put rails around the edge? I don't know. Oh, yeah, this is some neat dialogue here. Whatever the situation, I won't abandon my duties. And then she heals your Pokemon, so that's kind of cool. Alright, awesome sauce. Bada 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 bada. Thank you. Alright, now back we go. We've got about two more battles left before we get to the tenth one. So now we gotta walk past all these goobers, these uber goobers. Number two, number three, I don't even remember these guys' names. The first one was Turo. Uh, I don't know, the last one I just fought was Weeg. This chick was I late, right? So it was like Taylor or later. This one was Knots, Snots. And Weeg. All right, so up to number eight. Oh, finally, a Cypher Peon. What do you know? No, I don't want to go in there. Pokemon. So we want to put Noctile out. He's almost done. Espeon. Does this chick have rock Pokemon too? I don't know. Let's just put Chicken J out front, just in case she doesn't. But she probably will. What's up, lady? I guess we're a little guilty of underestimating you. We've underestimated you. You've earned some respect. But I'll make you regret ever having come here. Um, I kind of doubt that. Cypher Peon. Kassan! Kassan! That's like Japanese for crap. Whenever I'm watching like anime, dubbed anime, they're always like, Kassan! Oh yeah, this chick has regular Pokemon. Haven't we fought Kassan before? That sounds familiar. Maybe not. I don't know. Alright, so Noctowl is one battle from being purified. If he gets a hyper mode, we can finish it this round. Yeah, now we can start using our stuff like Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt! We haven't seen how that looks yet. Let's try it. Torment, huh? Oh no, I'm tormented. Damn you. See how this does against Duskull. Well, it's pretty weak sauce. Then again, I don't expect much from Noctowl. He is level 30, right? You know, I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt here. He's been doing extremely good. You know, all things considered. Oh yeah, chicken. You own, bro. You own. Huda man! Huda man! Oh no, you identified me. You bastard. Alright, you can finish off Hadro. Let's see how Thunderbolt. Oh, can't you say move twice due to Torment? That's what that does. Alright, well, I'll go with Thundershock. I'm content with that. And. Bite. Why do you gotta lift your head up like you're howling to bite? That's. <laughs> oh, that's dumb. Ah, you're about to die anyway. It doesn't really matter. Thank you! Noctile's about to finish his shizzle. That's what I'm talking about. 
But of course, due to that, now Houndra has survived another turn, the bastard. Willow Wisp. Oh no, he's gonna burn somebody. Burn a Noctowl. Noctowl. No, dude. No, no. Gonna have my attack power and damage me. All right, so let's finish off Noctowl by calling him. Now all we need to do is take him to a gate village after this, and he's good to go. So now we can use Thunderbolt again. Let's finish off. Um, I just get Duskull out of there. Noctowl. All right, Noctowl's done. Another one bites the dust, baby. Thunder Punch! Get out of here with your willow wispin' ass, man. Bye bye. And Chicken Jay grows to level 34. That is awesome. He must have been really close when we purified him. Copy! What are you doing there, dude? Did you just bite? Yeah. That's fine. I don't care. Touch by the ban. The ban, it hurts. Um, oh, you know what? I guess Noctowl's done now, isn't he? So let's switch him out for Hitmon. No, 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 no. Hitmon Tizzle, who is already in hyper mode, so then we can just do a nice little call. And Chicken J can't use that dude to torment, so let's Thundershock Houndra. Let's finally get that fucker out of here. Whoa, epic change of Pokemon. Ya foes, wait, get him, Hitmon, stop! Okay. Okay. All right, Houndor, time for you to finally get the hell out of here. Thank you. Man, as much as I love the guy, jeez, he's annoying. 300 experience, Eva, that's nice. Really? Oh my god, how many Pokemon do you have, dude? Et? Sludge? No, no, no. Ew, that is so gross. He just like huffs and he puffs and so much of that crap comes out of him. It looks like, he reminds me of Poison Jam, I don't know why. Alright, Focus Energy was him on top's next move, that's pretty cool. Alright, let's get Coughing out of here. He's more of the threat. Chicken Jay, I'm gonna let you fight this one out, brother. Shadow... Oh, he's in Hyper Mode, crap, I forgot to... Well, I guess that does good, because now he's gonna die. I forgot he was in Hyper Mode, totally lost it. Well, at least coughing's gone now. Coffee! That's right, with your stanky ass. Oh, we got the better battle music now, that's weird. I guess once you get up to battle 8 here, things get serious once you start reaching the peons. Alright, let's give him on top a nice little call here, and Chicken J. Oh, Torment is still in effect. I thought when Houndour died, that would, you know, no longer apply, but I guess I was wrong. Yeah! Hit him on top! He just did like a 900 in midair, man. That was epic. There you go. Thundershock your face! Of course, she just used Calm Minds for special defenses like Owned. Owned? What does that even mean? I was gonna say Owned, and then I was gonna say Ownage, because I figured that would be more applicable. And then I got stuck somewhere in between. Alright, Chicken J, you fought valiantly, man. I should have healed you, but, you know, I was just kind of letting it play out. Alright, who's next? Let's send out Umbreon. The boys are back in town! Um, let's see if we can get another Hyper Mode on. That'd be great. Yes! Thank you! Him on top! You know what it is! Black and yellow, man! Oh, but this is gonna kill her, isn't it? Super effective. Well, didn't kill her. That's good. Will-O-Wisp! Man! I was thinking about putting off healing till the next battle, but now I really can't. Is he burning me in Shizzle? Ow. Ow. Why? Why me? Ow. <sighs> Alright, so let's call Hitmontop, and let's finish off this chick. Hitmontop! And there we go, look at that, almost to the second line. Hitmontop's pretty good, man making some progress. Him on top is one of the harder, it's probably the hardest one to purify that we have right now. The higher level they are, they are harder to purify. Their ga gauges, excuse me, um, rise a lot slower. So, you know, hence the reason Noctowl has gotten up so quickly. It isn't right, I shouldn't lose. Ah, uh, go cry about it, why don't you? All right, so with her gone, we've only got one more trainer to fight. That's in between us and our area leader Vander should be. I shouldn't have battled you in the first place. That's right, you should just let me pass. 
So, I'm going to put off healing, because after the ninth battle, I'm definitely going to want to heal anyway. So, let's just see if we can't get away with minor healing here. Alright, now let's do some Pokemon shifting. Uh, Noctowl is done. We don't really need to use him anymore, so let's switch him in. And we'll put Umbreon in front, because he's level 33. Duh! Winning! Alright, and now we got a Cypher Peon Mail, Battle 9, and you can see Battle 10 over there, it's the final spot, so let's see what you got, brother. And as you can see, you can see a very wide-stanced man over there, a very power-stanced man, we will have to deal with him soon enough. You've done well to get here, but there's no next battle for you after this. I'll destroy you thoroughly! You think so, do ya? Well, guess what? I don't, Mr. Baron. Baron the Big Blue House. <laughs> oh, God. And he's got two hard like a Geodudes. Man, he must think he's really hard. He goes hard, hard like a Geodude, you know? Like a Chozo Ghost. Okay, bro. Sorry, but you're going down. I really should send out Littlefoot here if we want to do some severe ownage. I might actually just do that. So let's get him on top doing his thing. Umbreon, as much as I love you to be out here, you're going to get obliterated by these guys, man. So Littlefoot, let's bring you out here, man. Umbreon, you've done your part. Let's go. Eh, total fort. I don't know if you can nickname Umbreon and Espeon. I never really thought about that. Uh, did they give us a chance to nickname it at the beginning of the game? I don't think so. Oh, see? This is why I hate Geodudes, man. What the fuck is that? What the hell, man? Oh, and him on top stands up for a second. Haha, <laughs> but he hits your own Geodude, you know, nuts. Wow, that was just totally unnecessary, bro. Totally unnecessary. But whatever. Alright, I guess Umbreon is going back into the action. Cool, cool beans. Ha, 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 ha. Sand Slash. Oh, wow. We both know this guy's a douche bagel. Really? Ah, uh, come on, man. I just sent out Meganium, and now you're going to kill the dude? Oh, you guys are butt munches. Oh, God, it's like he has those Pokemon specifically for that reason and that reason only. That is bullshit. Bullshit. I call bullshit. I do, I call it. Yeah, yeah. All right, who's going out now? Espeon. What have we got? Uh, all right, so Sand Slash is his last Pokemon. Man, that's not really the best option you had there, then, was it? Was using that to... It's kind of dumb. Kind of screwed yourself there, pal. Just your Kamikaze strategy is not working. Sorry. Thank you. I was going to say, please let me go first before he decides to dig. Dig in my bot. And Sand Slash has fainted. Hi, uh, I'm Brown Green, level 34. Sweet. Cool beans. Man, he's getting two levels since we got here. That's nice. Um, what happened about the beating me thoroughly? Bear in the big blue house? Why are you so outrageously strong? You know, I ask my question, I ask myself that question every morning. I just don't know, man. That's just how it is, dude. Don't get a swelled head just because you beat me. Master Dekim will deflate your pride real quick. Yeah, just like you were going to beat me thoroughly. Alright, so now we've got a nice, big, great view of Dekim's ass over there, so... We will be fighting him very, very soon, and let me just tell you, there's a reason he has a D and a K in his name, because he highly resembles the, the monkey himself. So, in the next episode, we will take him on, but for right now, I'm going to go heal, and I'll meet you guys back here in the next episode. Goodbye.